Hello guys, welcome back to the channel that Techie Guy and today we are solving a problem of TCS IPA 35 marks portion of Java which one of you have suggested or send it in the telegram so question is create a class player with blow attribute so what we have to do we have to create a class named as player okay wait a minute let's uh, uh, some part will be uh, I should highlight so you can understand so we have to create a class s named as player and have to set attributes so attributes means data type variables and these are some data types variables we have to ensure is present in this player class okay so first one is player id okay and uh, the data type of player id is should be integer okay so data type i have brought it here okay for all the variables okay so first of the variable is player id then player name which is type of string then runs which is type of integer then player type it is the type of string then player match type it is also a type of string okay then it is given that the above attribute should be private so all these attributes should be private okay and uh, we have to write getter setters so it is very clear if these elements are private and we have to get the values of these parameters so what we have to do we have to use getters to get the values of these like uh, if we create an object of player and there have some attributes this and we need some value like if we need their id's value then we have to use getter method to get that value and if we have to set that value okay same value then we have used setters so getters and setters used here and constructor as well to like to initialize the value okay for passing the value in the object itself if we are creating an object of that player then by the help of constructor we are initializing values to that uh, uh, object okay so next given create a class solution with main method so make uh, so what we have to do we have to create one solution class and implement main method in that okay and also we have to draw two starting methods first method is find player with lowest runs okay and second method is find player by match type okay and these methods should be written in solution class okay so let's coming to the point and uh, First, what we are, are going to do, we are going to implement this thing, okay? Till the main method, we are going to write our code, okay? So now I am going to IntelliJ. Oh, now I am going to IntelliJ and writing the class, okay? So class is player, and player has some attributes. So going there to the question and copying this okay and coming to the IntelliJ now what I am going to do I am just commenting these attributes so I get an idea of like which type of parameters I have to make so first is of their ID so private integer type their ID okay the next is string type of their name so type is a string Oh, it should be capital so string player name then runs okay then it is type of integer and now I am using player runs okay instead of players I am writing player runs as my variable name okay next thing is that private string type player type okay player type and next thing is private string and its name is match type okay you can also use here player match type but uh, yeah so i am using here player match type so it becomes more relevant okay now what you have to do after creating this thing you have to create a constructor to initialize these values to an object so i am right clicking here and directly generating the constructor okay but what you have to do uh, write that constructor on your own i am writing it there for that the video becomes short okay and right now i am generating getters and setters for 
this class also i have tell you that getters are used to get this value so th this should be public so we can use in another class as well its type is return type is integer since we are returning player id and its type is integer if we want to set this player id then we doesn't have to do anything the method is same but it since it's setting something so it's not returning anything so why does the return type then name is set here and we are giving in parameter a new id and initializing this value to a new player id okay so these are known as getters setters okay and i think we have implemented that part okay so what we have to do right now we have to create these two methods okay name find players with lowest runs and find player by match type okay so coming to the first method find player with low runs we are going to implement this method so this method will take array of object okay and uh, a string value as input parameter okay then this method will return the least number of player from an array of player object for the given player type okay so that string value is nothing but player type okay here yeah. this thing the string value is nothing but that player type we have to pass it through the method and check if the player type is if no players are found okay if no players are found means that player type is doesn't matches with any of the objects which are present in the array and the method should return zero okay so this method is returning integer this is fixed okay so first of all uh, let's go and uh, write this method okay that would that would be appropriate so just uh, copying the name of this method and uh, we know the return type of this method is integer so coming to the solution class and writing the method static int this and this method is taking two things so player as array and second is string and that string is what it is player type okay so we are directly coming to it and writing player type so that string name is player type here okay so what we are going to do if we meet anything method and its return type is integer then we are returning zero okay we doesn't have to do anything we are just returning zero to ensure that bracket okay where our method is ending okay so we didn't get any problem before getting to it we have to create a scanner object so a scanner oh scanner s equal to new scanner i am writing system dot in okay now creating a player array and mainly i think we we have to create uh, we are not writing but we have to create four players object as far as i know let's see it from anywhere or my matches with the input so yeah here we have to read values for four player object okay and read two values for capturing player type and match type okay so secondly we have to create uh, this now what i am doing i am catching the value values of player type and match type here simply so player type equal to sc dot uh, next line and uh, also creating match type okay since we this is our first video in english tutorial it's gonna be like lengthy video okay because i want you guys those who didn't understand hindi it should be clear all the things like what we are doing right now that we do in hindi so we can like going forward in a fast track but right now it since it's a first video of english it should be very slow and you should understand all the concepts okay so that's why it is slow so what we have to do we have make an array here okay and we have to store four objects but before uh storing the objects here we have to initial like entering the value for that object so what we have to enter these values so these values are this 
in an order so what i am going to do i just copy these values and uh, i am just commenting it out okay so that i can understand which type of value we have to enter in an object so first value is integer type so i am writing integer a and next int to store that value into a and what we are going to do if we are reading any values of like integer type then pool uh, then uh, float type and then double type then what we have to do we have to just use our next line over here okay so that it will doesn't doesn't give any error to us okay then string b equal to it is player name and uh, the reason is that we are going to store in an abc order so that we can uh, easily initialize to that object without any confusion and uh, runs third is runs and runs is of type integer and since it is an integer we need a new line here then the next type is next string so for a string we just use simply next line and we are done with it and fifth is also the next line okay means it is string type and what we are going to do we are just simply initializing that object equal to new player okay and then here you can see simply we can pass all the values in a b c d e order okay and after that we have stored the backup values here okay then what we are going to do we are going to do here like uh, coming to the question and checking what we are reading the so first value is player type second value is match type then matching with that question okay so player type and match type so we are done okay what we are going to do here we are just have created an scanner object and array of length four okay and the type of this array is players because we have to store players object in this okay so we are looping for the length of an array and reading that five values and just initializing to that object okay after coming after coming from this for loop we are reading two parameters player type and match type okay and right now the method now complete coming to the method so the method will return integer type okay so what i am going to do i am just copying the name of this method running here and passing arr to this and player type to this okay now since this this method returns an integer type so so i am storing it in rest okay so now what i have to do i have to check for it first before checking it let's complete this method okay so let's the uh enter result or uh, what we have to calculate we have to click calculate players with lowest run so we can create a min min is as integer dot min value why i am doing this i am doing this for finding min so i am storing a maximum value of integer in that min okay and now what i am going to return i am going to return itself min okay this has a very good logic let me explain you here itself since consider if we didn't have any uh, object which that uh, matches with that player type okay matches with this player type okay so what we are going to do if we doesn't get this player type matches with all the things then we have returned this value okay it's null zero nothing the value of first object we have got this values and if we find this value in that in this rest also then we know it is it doesn't match with any of the object and we can print what we have to print okay so now coming to the point we are simply going to do for loop starting with this for loop and uh, now if arr dot i it will give the our it will give the object first object which is stored in the array okay then what we have to get we have to get player type okay so player type since player type is type of strings we can compare with equals function and equals ignore case ignores the case which is in the capital letter or small letter it doesn't uh, like affect our quotient okay so player type then what we are going to do here okay we just compare 
if okay if i am writing if ar dot get i dot get runs okay get runs here runs if less than our min okay then min equal to this arr dot get arr dot get player runs arr dot get i dot player runs okay but the catch is this okay let me compare to you here and the catch is this here if what happens if our min is already like uh, greater then means if a min has some value okay so let's after let's come to this case later so that you can understand better what we are going to do here at last okay since it's an h case i'm not doing anything what we are going to do here we are comparing the player runs with min if min has less number of runs then min will store this runs okay and we have returned that means simply okay now so guys actually this video is going too long so what we are going to do now we are just uh, separating like uh, taking the video in two parts for two different methods okay so since uh, this method is returning min so let's coming to the question what we have to return so okay so for uh, find players with lowest runs method the main method should print the uh, return runs as it is if the return value is greater than zero or it should print no such player okay so we are copying this no such player and coming to the method now the method is returning min okay and what we have initialized min to integer dot min value so it means we are storing this method in this now we compare if res is equal equal to not zero we have to compare with integer dot max value okay so integer dot uh, max value if this happens then we have to uh, print no such player so we have done this else we have to print uh, this as it is okay now i am running it okay and now coming to the input the output now i am copying and since we have already stored both the inputs like uh, both for both for both the method it will doesn't show or give us an error let me and run it and answer is 67 okay and uh, for here it is also 67 these two output is of second method that video will come later on okay now come coming to second question copying this input running this again okay and uh, right now and we have got no such player as our answer okay if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment box or should post in telegram let's coming to the point uh, here what i have done it uh, this method is returning in teaser so we have a stored in integer type okay now we are comparing it to integer min value since we have initialized min to integer okay and one thing is also sure right now and let me tell you this code is not full okay this code is not full this code is not full means it will give you an error okay for multiple test cases but i am not solving here you will get the right solution in the telegram channel okay uh, the solution is correct itself but we have to little modified it till then keep watching okay and uh, if you want to do anything or ask anything you can come here for coding you can prefer this online gdb compiler where i also check the code since it is working or not okay because in tcs you have to code in this compiler okay so let's leave this side and if you have any doubts you can come to this channel and post it uh, you can post in any of these videos comment or you can join telegram by going this in about and here is the link of telegram okay so you can join so okay bye guys